Okay, here's the evil plan. So I've got this pinion here on this gear, and it's got a broken leaf on it. So I'm going to shave this pinion off the gear, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to take this out, and then I'm going to take another pinion arbor, and I'm going to try to remove the pinion on the other gear, and I'm going to drill a hole in it, and then slide that pinion onto this gear. So that's the evil plan. So the first thing is, am I able to remove this pinion um, from this arbor, or, or the staff or shaft or whatever, if I spin this at a high speed and try to chisel it off? So I'm going to see what happens here. Yeah, this seems to be working, but perhaps a better method is to actually use a file. So I'm going to switch to a file. shave this down right to the uh, what looks to be the uh, diameter of the smallest part. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to flip this around again and then see if I can trim that back. This is taking material off nicely. So I'm going to make sure I got a little bit of a slant on that. And then I'm going to have to end up dri drilling a hole in the other pivot, or pinion rather, to, make, to fit it on top of this one. This pinion right here, this one here, I'm going to cut this off on the end, and I'm going to drill a hole through it. So what I want to do is take the end right off of it, and look at that, it just jumped out of my hand. <laughs> I'm going to take the end off it, put that back in the tweezers. There. I'm going to take the end off of that, the tip off of it, which is the pivot, and then take that, drill a hole in it, and then see if I can friction fit it onto there. So there's going to be some micro work going on there. So, Alright, so the pinion and arbor and everything else is in here now, or shaft or whatever you call it. I'm going to just try to see if I can shave this pivot off the end here. This is the, the one I want to drill a hole through. So, so if I just try this out for a second here. I have a stone that's a bit, it's got a bit of, got a bit of oomph to it. And then just use that to flatten it out. That's good enough right below the pivot right there. Same diameter as that. So I can slip pressure fit this on. If I can't pressure fit it on, I'll just glue it on. But it'll work on the um, graver here using a diamond plate to get it as sharp as possible. Because what I'm going to do now is go into this, into this pinion here and just try to start the center hole on it just a bit before I end up drilling it so I'm going to record this as well. Alright now I'm going to make the um, I'm going to make the little center hole for drilling here. So I've set this up nicely and I've got a very sharp graver right now so I'm just going to see if I can tap the center here. And there we go. When I bring this tailpiece in now with the drill in it, um, I have to find the right collet, and then I've measured the, um, the shaft here. So I've measured this shaft. I use my I call it dormies, but I know that's not how it's pronounced. Anyway, I use my gauge here, and that's kind of close enough to start off with. And so I'm going to pick my drill bit based on this and make it a bit smaller than what I need. And I had about Point or point 0.7 millimeters, so the, this is between 0.7 and 0.8, so probably 0.75 millimeters. 
Um, and I could use my bench micrometer to measure it precisely, but I want to start my hole first. And then I'll just place this in the hole to make sure I've... Uh, I'll start off with a smaller drill bit to make sure I um, get the right fit, because this is going to be friction fit onto this uh, shaft. Hey, these drill bits are high-speed steel. They're actually for circuit boards. Um, they become really small, so the, the pink one looks like the one I need to use. So what I'll do is grab the pink one. That pink one, and then i got to find the collet that holds it. I think it's the 30 that holds, uh, holds this pink one. And then make sure it's not too big for this, and then I can start the drilling process. So now I have this lined up. I'm going to use this cutting fluid here. It's a cutting fluid, and I just dab a bit on my finger and then put it on the drill bit. And that'll help the drill cut into this material. So, And, and I'm not sure how well this drill bit will cut into the material, but a lot of trial and error, I think. So all I need to do is put a little bit of dab of that on there and pull the drill bit back a bit. And this is my... Uh, I found the right collet to hold the uh, drill bit here, and I just soak that in there a bit, a bit. And I can probably just leave this stuff on my fingers so I don't have to re-wet it. And then when I start drilling here, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that it makes a hole. So we'll see what happens here. So this is kind of what it looks like inside the jewel holding um, collet. And it's, this jewel holding collet goes in, into a size 50 collet. Um, and then this is the drill bit that goes through. Um, this one's a broken one, but I did manage to make the hole now. So that, that uh, pinion now has a hole in it, so I may have to clean it out with another drill bit. So I'm going to turn this off and set that up and see if I can go in a little bit deeper with another drill bit just, just to clean it up. Alright, this is a cleanup. So I just use this, the nubby from the drill bit that broke. Go through, go in a bit, and go out a bit, and it's basically cleaned up the hole. And what I don't know is if that hole is big enough for the uh, for the shaft or arbor um, to fit into. So i got to grab that like this and then see if that'll fit. And I also may have to shave some off. So that should be a bit too big for it. Which means I may have to shave some metal off of this arbor to fit. So I'll measure that. I don't think I want to fart with this collet anymore because I don't want to break it. Or the uh, Opinion actually, because I don't want to break the thing, so, so I'm going to just see how far off it is from snugly fitting onto this. A little bit of measurement required, and I'll come back. So now the trick is to remove enough material from the arbor to fit the to fit the pinion on. So I got to keep testing it and removing material, but I'll chamfer the front part so it kind of snugs in. The other thing is I think the pinion is a bit too wide because there's the leaves, the leaves that are used to attach the um, to attach the wheel to the arbor. But I'm going to measure that and see if I'm kind of screwed or not. So I may have to shave that down as well um, prior to uh, prior to uh, staking on this pinion. So, but. It's uh, ready to rock and roll. I got the hole in it. I had to sacrifice I think, three or four drill bits, but learning how to be patient and use cutting oil to get it on. So, so what I'll do is I set this up already and see if I can take a little tiny bit of material off of this. So let's try this out here. And see what it how it cuts.
Uh, it's actually starting to fit on the end where the pinion is, and if I shave a bit more off, it's going to slide in. So it's going to be a pretty tight little fit. There we go, it's all the way on now. And I will have to glue this because this is uh, moving a bit, as you can see. So, but it's pretty friggin' to spec. It slid right on there nicely, so. I just have to remove this little edge here, right there. Because from here to there is just too much material. If I can remove that, then I've got the perfect, perfect pinion. So I'm going to do that probably with um, di a diamond plate, as opposed to using uh, a graver and stuff. So I'm going to use these collets, which are used for jeweling to hold this in place, turn this upside down, and then use that to go back and forth to shave material off, and I'll see how that works, because it'll hold it in place nicely. And I can gauge the depth here by turning this piece here, and it'll push it up or push it down. Right now I've got it, the head sticking out just enough to be able to start shaving it, see how well it works. So I've decided to put the plate at an angle here so I can see the depth that I'm filing this down and make sure you can see things here so I'm going to back up just a bit and I'm just holding it with this diamond holding collet and just taking the material off. I'm almost done here. This this just cuts through this material like crazy. Pretty amazing, actually. And I don't want to take too much off because then I'm screwed. And then I'll go from there. All right, start again. My wife just walked in for two seconds, so. So I have to adjust the process here slightly because she walked in. <laughs> Alright, there's the gear. And there's the pinion. I know the inside of it needs cleaning, so I would normally just take a uh, stick. A uh, piece of wood and clean the inside. In this case, I'm just taking a piece of radical and just sticking it in. And see if I can get anything out. Anyway, so it would go like so. Front or back out, it doesn't freaking matter. that on. That's the final product. Needs a little cleaning up, but the pivot's sticking out the other end. It's the third wheel, so this was a... took the old one up, broken one out, used a sacrifice one, drilled a hole in it, cut it off, drilled a hole in it, did all kinds of stuff fit it perfectly and, and now I've got a pinion sticking out there and I'm going to use uh, what's called JB Weld which holds stuff on really well and just a dab of it on there will hold this on for life and I'll make sure that goes on the inside so it's not interfering with anything and there you go so that's how you make or take a pinion and move it from one wheel to another and it's not easy and it's a very first time I've done this. So a lot of experimenting and trying to figure out what the heck to do. But I think it worked. Um, using the plates to actually uh, shave off the material was a, a great idea. Because that just took a few seconds as opposed to trying to do that with uh, the lathe um, and the file. Because I did that before with the lathe and the file. And it kind of sucked. It didn't work very well actually broke one of my gravers on the tip so it's better to file it off and the diamond plate ensures that you've got the right grit to just remove the material. So that's it. So thanks for watching. Watching another joke.
Um, so these are the two wheels I fixed. I fixed this wheel here. And I took a sacrifice one and replaced it with this one. And so this one's ready to go. And that was the center wheel. And then the other wheel is almost ready to go. And it's for an old Waltham watch. So there you go. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.